What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. On this channel, I talk a lot about ASO. I like to show you guys what's currently working and what moves the needle in terms of installs. I talk about things like uh, keyword research, screenshots, icons, all of that stuff, download velocity. But all of that stuff does not matter a single bit if you don't have this one thing. And what's that thing I'm talking about? I'm talking about your app's metrics. You see, Apple and Google, they have this data in front of them. They can see how well your app is performing and if it is meeting certain uh, industry benchmarks. And if your app is underperforming, there's literally zero chance that they're going to push it up the ranks. You see, companies like Apple, they pride themselves on quality and they only want to show the best quality apps to their users. So you can do everything right, follow the best ASO strategies, but if you have a bad app, then it's not going to move the needle in terms of ASO, getting installs, uh, you can forget about all of that. In fact, I'm actually, we're going to jump into my computer, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. And Apple actually show you um, the metrics or the benchmarks that you need to hit. So if you go to your App Store Connect account and you go uh, to your analytics section, you will see a tab here called benchmarks. And now the first thing you're going to see when you click on the benchmarks tab is uh, what category your app is currently in. And what Apple actually going to do is they're going to show you all the kind of category benchmarks that uh, your app uh, needs to hit or where you're currently heading to. So the first one is conversion rate and it says here your conversion rate of 7.55% is above the 75th percentile which in Apple's terms means that is excellent. So you are in the top 75% of, of the best apps uh, with the conversion rate. And uh, opposite there we have the crash rate and uh, you'll notice that this one is in red because that is a very bad sign that this app um, is in the 75th percentile for crashes which is you don't want to be ranking for that so if you are doing bad and you're on the bottom end of the spectrum it's going to show red uh, day one retention you can see that we are between the 50th and the 75th percentile which is still pretty good uh, the same with day seven retention. Okay, so if your app, if you come here in your app, everything is in the red, that means that you're not hitting um, any of the, the industry benchmarks. And as such, Apple are not going to promote your app. You can have the best keywords, the best screenshots, but if, if everything here is in the red, then you have very little chance of actually ranking. So what do you do if your app's metrics are off the benchmark standard? All you can do is reiterate on your app. This means first researching um, all the top performing apps in your niche. Also reverse engineering what kind of makes them tick and peeling back all of the layers to find out all the nuances that makes them successful. Because of these apps are on the top charts because they're doing things right, because people love love uh, using the apps and the metrics reflect that. That's why um, Apple pushed them up to the top of the charts. So you actually have to learn from those blueprints. Now don't go out and copy or clone them because that never works. When I talk about reverse engineering, I'm actually talking about understanding um, the fundamentals of what makes these apps so compelling, you know? Is it their, their core game loop? Is it the way they have their UI lay, laid out? Is it the sounds and the music they use? Is it their color palette? All these small things that on a surface level we kind of tend to gloss over, these are important and they're using them for a reason. So you really have to familiarize yourself uh, with kind of that industry and what niche you're in and uh, you have to understand what it is people like and what is it what it is they don't like so also what I like to do is go to these top uh, top performing apps and check out their reviews see what reservations 
their user base has, what features they would like in the app. Th look for patterns that come up over and over again and use this to put your own twist on your app. So these are all things that I practice always and always remember that your app is never finished. I'm going to repeat that. Your app is never finished. So don't think that you can release an app and for the rest of your life you're going to be collecting uh, paychecks uh, without having to do anything because that is kind of uh, a poor person's mindset and you're never going to grow a full-time business with that mindset. So always take care of it like you're watering your garden and eventually this garden will bear fruits and uh, you will be able to enjoy those fruits. So it's the same thing with apps. Uh, keep iterating and then comparing the new version, the metrics with the previous version and see if you're on the right track. And if not, you have to go back to the drawing board and it's kind of a rinse and repeat process. So sorry if that's not what you guys want to hear, but that is the honest truth. And this channel is about uh, no BS, no fluff, uh, just transparency. So this is stuff that I do. I'm always uh, updating and uh, making sure that the metrics are good. And uh, yeah, that's the only way you're gonna grow. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did get some value, smash the like button, subscribe if you do like this kind of content. I will see you on the next one. Stay safe and peace out.